Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Thanks for joining me again today. If you want to be a bee and learn more about Hive Investments, uh, get yourself an NFT coming up soon in March. I think you should stick around. We're going to look at uh, some more details that they've put out to include their Queen's Auction, which is going to be for you whales, not this guy. And we're also going to look at Hexagon, their NFT trading platform. So if you want to know more about that, stick around. We'll see you in a second. Before we jump over to the Medium article on all the new stuff that Hive Investments has put out, uh, I want you to take a look. If you don't know about this, I have a video up there. Just go check it out. It's my previous video on this. With that being said, uh, this bee could use support. So if you could buzz your finger down towards that little like button and press that to get those YouTube engines cranking, that would be awesome of you guys. Really could use that support. Of course, subscribe, please, if you will, and hit that uh, notification bell so you know when a new video comes out that you might not want to miss about new projects so you catch it before everyone else. All right, let's jump right into the Medium article. So the Queen's Auction, what is that? This is their initial fundraising effort in order to actually get the liquidity pool started, uh, which of course is going to help out the launch, keep that price stable on Honey, and it goes from there. So... They're going to raise money through that. And before we scroll down, take a look at that beautiful queen right there. I know it's a silhouette, but uh, stick around if you want to see what she looks like. I'll put that towards the end. They have awesome artwork. They've done a lot with this platform. The website, I'll do that at the end and show you a peek of that. So let's scroll on down and we're going to look at the initial piece, which is why are they doing the queen's auction? And that is because they need the required liquidity for a smooth and successful launch. That liquidity they're trying to raise is the initial $2 million capital. And again, that's there specifically to reduce price volatility of the Honey token. So there aren't any issues with that for the launch, which is going to help out bees like myself so that we can actually get in on this and uh, purchase our NFT. All right, let's scroll down here. So why would you want to buy into the Queen's auction? So first off, there's going to be 20 of these NFTs minted. They're all Queen's. Okay, it's going to actually put your number, if you were the uh, winner of the third Queen's Auction Mint, then you're going to have a three in the bottom of your NFT, which you saw at the top on that queen that was shown, which was a 20. The rewards mechanics are different for this. So the whole point is they're allowing whales to invest a larger amount of capital, which isn't going to be possible at launch. So it gives that side of the uh, perspective as well. So they don't have to come in at launch and try to uh, dump a major amount of capital to get a ton of NFTs. This lets them pull this in. Well, now we're going to get into a second uh, why they would want to put a bunch of capital into one of these queens. Because before, if you've seen the previous videos, well, the, all the queens are the same, right? They, uh, they only produce, I think it's 0.2 honey per day. That's different for these, and we'll see that in a second. So this next section, this provides a guaranteed mechanism, of course, for people to actually get these queens uh, that they wouldn't be able to do with a normal mint. They only have a half a percent chance at this in the normal minting process. So that's another reason. Of course, the auction winners also, they're providing this as another benefit. Auction winners are going to have their own channel on Discord so they can engage with the core team behind Hive Investments. That's pretty cool. So they may, it's almost kind of like a DAO situation where they have some influence. Maybe you guys get to uh, request certain things change or uh, add new features. I don't know. But that's a good interface to have for this system. And you'll also have a special role on Discord. Uh, so they'll also have be listed in a section on the Hive homepage. But it'll actually show the auction winner on this if they want want to have their name shown uh whatever it may be and then also a shout out on twitter indicating they won the auction and the final bid amount each founder's queen this is pretty cool i'd love to have this on my nft you can have your own custom background if you desire so whatever you want on your queen's background that'd be cool to put whatever i wanted on there of course they would uh, veto anything that was offensive that you put on there that may hurt the hive brand okay so before we head up why you'd want to do that, because we're going to do this in order. They have some good limited time anti-well launch mechanisms they talked about. So this is launch day, day one. So there is an NFT mint limit. So on single wallets, that is. So a single wallet can't mint more than a certain amount. 
They, they don't mention that here, how many, but uh, that's a good thing to put in, of course. Maximum number of honey token per wallet. That's an awesome idea as well. So you can't just drain it out. So this wallet, it's going to be hard to go wallet to wallet to wallet. As anybody knows, trying to get into uh, an initial launch on anything. So enhanced sales tax. Another thing, they'll keep the sales of honey from just outright being insane uh, and people not just dumping immediately on day one. So that sales tax is 100% uh, to the treasury until it reverts back to 15, which 15 is the normal value on the on the honey sales tax. So that's on, on launch day, and that'll over time uh, change from the 100 to 15. Don't know the time frame, but that's a very good uh, mechanism in place that they have. Transfers between wallets are going to be limited or disabled on launch. So that's going to be also a good benefit. So you can't move it around and possibly subvert some things going on there to also alleviate some problems. So again, these are all temporary, but helping us uh, little bees and all you guys out there that aren't part of the, the Queen's auction that want to just mint on normal NFT. All right, back to the Queen's auction and how it works. The first 20 Queens in existence, right? So again, we said, why would people want to whales in this situation? Why would they want to put a lot of money in this? $15,000 is the starting bid, and that's the increment as well. All right, so insane amounts to begin with. Why would they want to do that? So remember, 0.2 honey per day for a queen. Well, every increment, that queen gains an additional 0.2 honey in rewards per day. So they don't stop there. It gets insane quickly. So at 30,000, you get an additional 0.2. At 45,000, you get another 0.2, and it just goes from there. So here's the example they showed. A final bid of 120,000 die on a founder's queen would produce 1.6 honey per day. That's crazy. So the regular queen is not producing anywhere near this amount. Now they go, they go even further and say, well, what if uh, the token value went to $500 for the price then you would be netting $800 per day passive income that that queen would be yielding you. And they say that that would initially basically give you a return on investment. It would pay itself off in five months for that queen that you uh, won the bid on for that auction. That's pretty crazy. And the fact that, don't forget this, guys, that queen can be sold on the secondary market, which we're going to talk about in a second. That's awesome. So your, your NFT is already holding the value and you're going to get in the honey tokens to regain some ROI. So however you play that out, you're either going to return on investment in five months and still have your NFT that's valued at whatever it may be at the time, but you know she's going to be valuable. So that's the gist of this. There's not a lot more here. Here's a nice little table to kind of go over it. Maybe that's a better view for you guys. Again, 20 allocated queens at the bidding. There's going to be uh, bending increments of 15,000 die. And remember, the additional 0.2 honey per 15,000 die increment. Oh, I didn't mention this, so this is pretty cool. There's 20 rounds of these, so they're going to last, uh, each round's going to last eight hours. That's pretty cool. So my, I'm, I'm intending to watch this. We're going to be able to go to the website and watch this in action live. It'll be fun to watch. Twitter will be a buzz about this, I'm sure, talking about this. It's going to be awesome. Anyways, again, the unique identification number. So you're going to be the first one to 20 of these uh, NFTs out of the 40,000 and you'll have that mint. So if you want to participate, of course, you go to the Hive Investments website. We're going to see that in a second, but this Queen's auction is not live yet. Uh, I believe uh, this is on here. Do I remember the 28th? Uh, I think it's when this starts. So from this video, if you're watching this right now, this was on the 26th for me. That's in two days on Monday. My Monday, the 28th, I don't know what time, I believe this starts the first Queen's Auction, number 20 is the first one to go up. Pretty cool if you want to get in. So you'll see the Queen's Auction when this is all live and going, and of course you'll see the rest of this, and let's use the graphic versus talking about that here. A little hard to see on here the way it zooms in, but that's okay. This would be the Queen's Auction webpage. They'll have this available up there. This is Queen 20. It'll show right here. I know this is hard to see, guys, but this is the time left in the auction right here. They're going to have the actual bid increments here, and it actually shows you can add and basically put your bid in. So I'm sure you're going to have your wallet connected right here, and you'll be making those transactions. It shows the current honey output on the current bid right here. 
and I believe this is the last bid or the current bid. And this is where you'll, of course, put in yours next. And it shows the uh, people currently that have bid by order. So the top, I'm assuming, is the latest bid that currently is winning. Uh, so this is pretty cool. Yeah, I think this, again, I sh I'm going to show you the website a little bit cleaner here. A little bit easier to see, but their website is very clean. Not to geek out on the website, but I really do like it. So let's take a look at the next piece. They have released what they're going to do next, and that is called the Hexagon, which is Hive's native NFT marketplace. This is key here. They're going to be the first member of the Hive ecosystem. So what does that mean? They're not just setting up a marketplace for themselves. They're setting up a marketplace for other NFTs to be a part of this, guys. Pretty cool. So... What does that mean to me? There is a lot more, uh, a lot more ability for this marketplace to thrive when you have additional members joining it to put their NFTs on there to be for sale. All right. So of course, the next step that helps you and I out as people that want to be involved in Hive Investments and be an NFT holder, the Honey Token is going to be the native token on this ecosystem. So you have to buy Honey to buy any NFT and use that to spin. That's gonna help out with the honey price big time. All right, let's scroll down here. So another thing, uh, notice it in bold here. The queen herself, that's what it says right here. She's gonna vet all projects that are listed on hexagons. They're looking for quality in their, uh, in their marketplace versus competitors. And that's a key item here. So, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna say that all the competitors out there aren't quality, but, this, this is a very good selling point to bring other NFTs in to feel safe on this marketplace and me as an investor when that's a major item, security basically. So you want security to know that your NFT you're buying is a good investment without any kind of uh, weird things going on, illegitimate uh, NFTs or, uh, you know, bogus items. So I think that's a very good thing in vetting that. So you know that the platform that that NFT came, came from is uh, a good a good buy for you. All right, so moving down here. So again, all NFTs will be purchased with Honey. So again, pretty awesome. It's gonna help us out as bees on this platform for both our NFT value and for other NFTs and the Honey token itself holding value for us uh, for our investments. So they're already collaborating with other premium NFT collections. So what that means is they're trying to get this launch for this platform good to go and ready to be successful from day one. So they're already in the works on this, and I'm sure they've been in the works on this since probably last month, if not before. So Hexagon will be the marketplace where you can transact your Hive NFT. So if you want to sell or buy, this is going to be the main place for you. So one more surprise that they put here. This is pretty exciting, guys. I think this is very good that they're doing this for us and for all the people. They're going to be out doing stuff on not just for Hive, but for other projects. Right here, the by her royal decree, Hexagon will charge no NFT transaction fees. That is really awesome that they're doing this. Again, I can't state how good that is. This is a this is good for the public, for anybody on this platform that's coming in. It's going to give more reason for people to put their NFTs on here and for this platform to grow and stabilize, which just gives me more uh, more hope in Hive investments in general. All right. So there's some pretty artwork that they have. Pretty cool here. So I guess, I don't know how this will work, but I'm, I'm guessing this is like the, uh, what you click on to go actually join the marketplace or go look at it. But uh, with that, let's jump over now to what did I say? The beautiful website. This is awesome looking. Let me do a refresh. I don't think there's anything new, but this doesn't go anywhere yet, but that's where you're going to get to the Queen's auction. So look how cool this looks. You'll come up here to get there. They already have, uh, of course, if you aren't part of the Twitter, but the Discord is not actually live yet. Uh, but that's where you'll get there when that goes live. I believe it's two weeks before launch is what they've said. So there's the, where the price of honey is going to be, keeping track of it. And of course, the price of Matic is already here. And they, you can go through all this, check this out. They've got some very good uh, high level on what Hive is and how it works. And if you've missed my previous video I talked about, this will give you a good rundown. So all the docs on Medium that I've referenced just now, they have the link there as well as their KYC. Cool. Here's the interface. Beautiful interface. Buy the honey. It's going to be this simple. Mint your NFT and harvest your honey. 
It's that simple, guys. Here's their FAQ. Great info in here. I looked through this. Might be a little bit of uh, maybe some side information in here. I think I saw that I don't know if I knew was in here before or hadn't, hadn't seen it, but very good rundown across these items for you guys to come take a look at. And with that, let me see if you can hear me typing. Did you see what happened there? Pretty cool. They had a little Easter egg built into the website that I wasn't one of the first ones, of course, to find this, but finally got the clues, figured it out. And they have Flappy Bee, for those of you that remember that app on the app store is out there, kind of a version of that. So you come in here, put my name in here. My, of course, this is my real name. What else would it be? So pretty cool here. You just use the space bar. Apologize for my space bar. I'm just showing you briefly, so we won't do this long. Pretty cool, though. Come play this. And if you don't know how, go check out the Twitter. I want you guys to be out there on Twitter. Go check out Hive's post and you'll find the answer. I don't want to spoil it if you haven't found it. So just playing a little game here, just built right into the website, but was hidden. Anyways, so I realized I almost forgot to show you guys one of the founder's queens, number 20 in this case. Totally slipped my mind when I was doing the recording, but... Here we are, gaze upon that beautiful artwork. Super detailed, I love the look of these. Uh, it's kind of got a robot-esque thing going on there, you know, but if you've seen the previous ones, this is really cool looking. So, let you look at that for a minute, and at this point, I think we're gonna stop here, guys. Really appreciate you watching my video, following along with me. And please join me again next time. Again, like and subscribe the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. And with that, we are done for today. I'll have another video up here for you to watch if you're interested and we will see you later.